It is so great to see our friend Chef Lauren Watts with Off the Rails Bakery, a new family-owned bakery on the Ozark Square. Chef, it's so great to see you. Hey, it's great to see you guys, too. I'm happy to be back. We haven't back seen you in a while. Have you been? I've been great. Last Busy. thing, last time I talked to you guys or did anything, it was uh, from the hospital mm -hmm. a year ago when I had my knee replaced. How's yes. that going? It's going great. Good. I'm walking around really good, getting through uh, the OIC with the students, and no problems. Well, it looked good. You were doing cartwheels before we came on, so I'm assuming <laughs> it's good. It's a great Shh. replacement, you know? <laughs> oh, okay, so tell us about Off the Rails Bakery in the Ozark Square. Okay, so Off the Rails Bakery started with a, a concept from my wife and daughter. They wanted to open something up in Sparta. Uh, it just wasn't the right time, right place, but they found a building that was one street away from the original train station. So they're like, hey, Off the Rails. It's not oh. on the rails, it's Off the Rails. Fast forward about a year and a half, we had the opportunity in Ozark, and it was still off the rails, but the old Frisco line still went through downtown in the park and that, which is just about a block or so away. So we, we kept the name, off the rails, because we're not on the rails, yeah. and now we're down there on the Ozark Square, and we're paying homage to the history of the Frisco line, the Chadwick Flyer, and a little bit of Renee and my history back home, because we grew up in a logging town, okay. surrounded by logging trains. And How it, cool. Yeah, we'd always get stopped in the morning, it was, we had to beat the train. Because if you get stopped no, in yeah, the morning, you here. would be late we, to school. Yeah. Yep, we know that. We know that feeling. Get late to work. <laughs> and hi, Renee. We love you so much, Renee, if you're watching. We love you. So tell us about what you brought today and things you can get at the bakery. Well, I brought you a plethora of all of our in-house baked items. Mm -hmm. uh, so everything in here is made in-house. Wow. Uh, Renee does all of the cookies, so this is her specialty. Mm. Um, Cassidy does all of these wonderful gourmet cupcakes. Mm. She's also our lead cake decorator oh. when she's not working at Sam's. Okay. <laughs> In the bakery. <laughs> May I ask, how old is your daughter? 22. My gosh, business 22. owner. Yes, 22 is a business owner. Wow. And then um, I do all the specialty breads, artisan breads, so the breads, the cinnamon rolls, the, uh, the maritosi buns here, which is a brioche roll mm -hmm. filled with a mascarpone whipped cream and then topped with a little bit of powdered sugar. It's a very Italian dessertish treat. Ooh. I am going to take this out to show the, the viewers beautiful. because it's yeah. so beautiful and I've never had one in my life. Look at this. That is so pretty. I honestly, I was like, I didn't know if it was a dinner roll. If right. it was a, you know, like a, a it, it sweet could be. treat. At, oh, it could be. Okay, you could sure. start your dinner with it. it. Well, I mean, it's a brioche roll. Yeah. You could put a hamburger on it. Maddie, we're cutting take, it down the just middle. Just take the, uh, the cream out of, it, out of the middle. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm trying to get the hair. You want to now, that Now, do part you guys have Italian heritage in your family, or is this Not just... that I'm aware of. I okay. just... Okay. We love, we must, because we love spaghetti. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, my God. Anything pasta. Mm -hmm. We love it. But uh, we do in-house baked New York-style cheesecakes. Um, we do a bunch of little treats and stuff. Have you ever had a homemade marshmallow? I've not. I don't know if I have. Mm -mm. We've got to try one of these. This, okay. is our, this is our vanilla homemade marshmallow. I'm saying this here, but that, by the way, th what is this called again? Meritosi. Meritosi is unbelievably delicious. And I want to eat this whole thing. Mascarpone whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I just want to. Mm -hmm. So good. So okay. I'll let you go ahead and grab one of those. Homemade marshmallow. Okay, here we go. Mm. Ooh. That is fresh. Mmm. Wow. It doesn't taste as rubbery as the ones you buy at the store. You know what I'm saying? Like right. It's, mm -hmm. it's light. It, did, oh, wow. How does one make a homemade marshmallow? Mm. So you take some sugar, a little bit of water, some uh, carol corn syrup, right? Bring that up to about 240 degrees. Mm -hmm. And then you take that and you put it into some gelatin in oh. a mixing bowl and you just whip it. Wow. wow. It cools down and pour it into a, I pour it into a pan that's lined with plastic and a little bit of cooking spray so mm -hmm. that it comes out really easy and I can press it down and make it nice and flat. Oh, that's it. Imagine that's that's so good. That's it. Can you tell us what these bars are here? These bars are a Renee and Cassidy creation. We call them, it's kind of like a s'more crispy treat. S'more. Okay. So okay. there's, so underneath here, there's a rice crispy. Let me hold that for right? I want to show the camera. Look how good that looks. And then we put some uh, chocolate ganache on top, some crushed up graham crackers, and some marshmallow, and we toast it. Oh. oh, that looks so amazing. When you toast it, is it with the, the torch? Like, oh, yes. Oh, we need to get one of those for here. Yes, and is that a, is that a Rice Krispie Treat? This is an in-house made Rice Krispie Treat with the same marshmallow. Okay. So it's in-house made marshmallow. Mm -hmm. And then on the far end here, these are our gourmet marshmallows. And this is, oh, since, you. since you just watched it, or you just went through the, uh, I'm officially old. I, yeah, I, I know, right? All 32 of those I've either done or had. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yes. But this is the creamsicle. 
Wow. So the ice cream in the toilet paper tube, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It's That's, that. I used to get that when I went to the dentist after I got done with the dentist and everything from Baskin Robbins. Uh, and that. So I was like, let's make some flavors. Yeah. So I did that. Look how, I mean, That's that amazing. is so and fluffy. Less yeah, messy. Less messy than the, than yeah. the push pot. So oh it's got an God. orange bottom with a vanilla top. That's amazing. Wow. Yep. And these cupcakes, seriously, they look unbelievably amazing. Lots of different flavors and varieties available. Is that daily or do you have to order them? This is daily. We have about 36 or so different flavors that we can do. Mm -hmm. We try to keep somewhere around eight or nine different ones in the case at all times. Okay. Um, our standards are going to be the confetti here, and then, which is just a white cake, a white buttercream, which is made in-house, mm -hmm. um, and sprinkles. <gasps> it's the, it's the basic, most basic one we have. And then we have our circus here, mm -hmm. which is a whipped topping, okay. and then a circus animal. Oh, Amazing. I, is this one a cheesecake by chance? That is a cherry cheesecake. So it's a I'm trying that one. I was going to say, that's screaming Jeremy's name. It's a white, oh my gosh. white Look, crumb. We have some great photos, too. Look at this. This is awesome. Oh, my gosh. And you, like you said, we do have some mini cheesecakes here mm -hmm. as well. Look at those. Is that a custom cake? That looks amazing. That is a custom wedding cake that Cassidy did for, I was actually her first wedding cake she did. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Okay, so if people watching want to come visit, come in store, mm -hmm. buy all these goodies, where can they go? They can come down to the Ozark Square, which is 101 North 2nd Street. We're right across from the 911 building and the uh, the courthouse. Okay. I know we're almost out of time, but tell us about your pop-up really fast. Okay, so our pop-up is every fourth Saturday of the month, they have Ozark Market Days, mm -hmm. or Market Days on the Ozark Square. And, that, and we have a pop-up barbecue where we do um, pulled pork, smoked brisket, and ribs. Guys, right, right so next much door fun. in our station house, which is also a party room. Guys, check it out off the Rose Bakery at the Square in Ozark. You will not be disappointed. It's amazing. We'll be back with our friend Zach Rance of the Atos Theater coming up right after this. This is amazing. I know. I should probably get him.